Hi everyone! So for today's video, we talk about Discovery Learning Approach. So first, what is Discovery Learning? Discovery Learning is a technique of inquiry-based learning that is considered a constructivist-based approach to education. It is also referred to as problem-based learning, experiential learning, and 21st century learning. It is supported by the work of learning theorists and psychologists Jen Piaget, Jerome Brunner, and Seymour Papert. The level of discovery learning can cover a variety of instructional techniques. According to a meta-analytic review conducted by Alfrey, Brooks, Aldrich, and Tenenbaum, 2011, a discovery learning can range from implicit pattern detection to the elicitation of explanation and working through manuals to conducting simulations. Discovery learning can occur whenever the student is not provided with that exact answer, but rather the materials in order to find the answer themselves. This popular theory encourages learners to build on past experiences and knowledge, use their intuition, imagination, and creativity, and search for new information to discover facts, correlation, and new truths. Learning does not equal absorbing what was said or read, but actively seeking for answers and solutions. Discovery learning takes place in problem-solving situation where the learner draws on his own experience and prior knowledge and is a method of instruction through which students interact with their environment by exploring and manipulating objects, wrestling with questions and controversies, or performing experiments. Characteristics of Discovery Learning Approach Discovery-based learning is typically characterized by having minimal teacher guidance, fewer teacher explanations, solving problems with multiple solutions, use of hand-on materials, minimal repetition, and memorization. There are multiple essential components that are required for successful discovery-based learning, which include the following. So first, teacher guidance where the emphasis is on building upon students, reasoning and connecting to their experiences. Second, classroom culture where there is a shared sense of purpose between teacher and students where open-mindedness and dialogue are encouraged. And third, students are encouraged to ask questions, inquire through explorations, and collaborate with teachers and peers. Features of Discovery Learning Approach Discovery learning has many key advantages, such as, first, it encourages motivation, active involvement, and creativity. Second, it can be adjusted to the learner's pace. Third, it promotes autonomy and independence. And lastly, it ensures higher levels of retention. So next, the theories that support discovery learning approach. According to Robert J. Marzano, 2011, describes enhanced discovery learning as a process that involves preparing the learner for the discovery learning task by providing the necessary knowledge needed to successfully complete said task. In this approach, the teacher not only provides the necessary knowledge required to complete the task, but also provides assistance during the task. This preparation of the learner and assistant may require some direct instruction. Another aspect of enhanced discovery learning is allowing the learner to generate ideas about a topic along the way and then having students explain their thinking. A teacher who asks the students to generate their own strategy for solving a problem may be provided with examples in how to solve similar problems ahead of the discovery learning task. So next, according to Brunner 1961, proposes that learners construct their own knowledge and do this by organizing and categorizing information using a coding system.
Brunner believed that the most effective way to develop a coding system is to discover it rather than being told by the teacher. The concept of discovery learning implies that students construct their own knowledge for themselves, also known as a constructivist approach. The role of the teacher should not be to teach information by root learning, but instead to facilitate the learning process. This means that a good teacher will design lessons that help students discover the relationship between bits of information. To do this, a teacher must give students the information they need but without organizing for them. Studies related to discovery learning approach. So the first study is all about discovery learning in the classroom by Emily Sanford Brown. It was published in the month of March and year 2006. The guided discovery learning method provides the best opportunity for learners supported by other more traditional methods. The new curriculum emphasizes hands-on learning. Students learn best when they become personally involved in their learning, when they are doing more than following a set or steps or just reading and hearing about things learned by others. Students develop their skills of inquiry and problem solving. Students as scientists explore and investigate, look for patterns, and find out what is related to what. They learn by observing and handling things, communicating what they observed, and keeping records. As problem solvers, students learn to apply scientific knowledge to practical uses. Discovery learning as a teaching approach that allows students to explore nature, to discover what they do not know, and to eventually make connections with what they do know, which makes learning more motivating, easier, better, understood, longer lasting and more transferable so next is the effects of discovery learning method application on increasing students listening outcome and social attitude by dinamica elmo it was published in the year 2016. discovery learning is a learning model that emphasizes learners to find their own principles or concepts that were previously unknown has been proved that it can improve students' skills in the English subjects, listening, and effective scores of students. This is shown in the results of statistical analysis using Wilcoxon signed one test technique which shows that there is a significant increase in the student's listening and aptitude score with effect size for each variable is medium and high. Scientific approach with discovery learning methods combined with a three-phase listening technique is indeed effective to improve students' understanding in terms of English language listening ability. Stages in discovery learning that consist of six parts, namely stimulation, problem statement, the data collection, the data processing, verification, and generalization, has been designed in a way to help students improve their English language listening ability. Indirectly, students' attitude aspects which include being polite, caring, honest, discipline, confidence, and responsibility were also affected because these methods provide a place for students to release their potential. In terms of listening skills, Scientific approach with discovery learning method combined with three-phase listening has its own advantages that has been proved to help improve students' English listening ability. Based on the analysis above, it can be concluded that implementation of the scientific approach to discovery learning methods combined with three-phase listening can improve students' listening skills along with social attitude score. It is characterized by a significant increase in listening scores and social attitudes scores of the students, as well as the achievement of predetermined target. So, this is my sample lesson plan in mathematics, which the strategy that I use is discovery learning.
I hope you have learned something about discovery learning approach. Again, I am Mark Nia C. Bacos and thank you for watching.